Chapter 1140, Fallen Imperial Corpse, Rumble. The corpse continued to hammer the temporal Tao pathway time after time. Each blow carried a power capable of destroying the world. If he smashed the Grand Middle Territory in the same manner, it would sink down right away. The path below his feet shattered continuously. However, there was no effect in breaking these small sections. It didn't stop the flow of time, the coming of the future. The body of the corpse continued to erode with flesh and bits falling off. There were some fragile areas that had already shed to the bones. The world shook before its continuous rampage. The other regions in the mortal emperor world could feel this force as well. Countless beings were frightened because of it. They felt that the end of the world was swiftly approaching. It was as if each smash was straight on top of their head. It didn't matter who they were, one strike would render them to ashes. The masses were secretly praying for this battle to end early so that all sentient beings in this world could escape this disaster. Migu walked forward as time quietly flowed. Each of her steps increased the temporal Tao pathway's length by another 10,000 years. This was a type of serenity for the heaven and earth. Only time was allowed to pass. Regardless of how the corpse struggled, it couldn't truly destroy this Tao of time. Without a doubt, this corpse was very powerful, but it still wasn't a real mortal emperor, thus it had a long way to go before matching up against Magu. The spectators gasped to see just how helpless the corpse was. Even god kings found themselves lacking. In the depths of an imperial lineage, a god king that had been slumbering for many generations climbed up. He looked at the sky and murmured, a flawless grand completion physique on top of being a peak paragon. Outside of immortal emperors, no one else in this world is qualified to face her. Boom. In an instant, the corpse exuded the power of the world that it devoured earlier along with an endless corpse energy. Sizzling sounds could be heard with the corpse energy's emergence. Even the stars in the sky were being corrupted and eroded by its power. The imperial corpse's energy. Even god kings were alarmed after seeing this. According to an unbelievable legend, once these corpses accumulated this type of baleful energy to a certain level, it would destroy a god king instantly. There was no doubt that this corpse had been processed and perhaps even sealed. Otherwise, the space trample mountain would have been turned into ashes long ago by this horrifying energy. But now, the corpse had broken the seal and all of its corpse energy erupted. In a short period of time, this energy wove together with the Grand Dao to form a half-black and half-white imperial sword. The world shook before its appearance. Myriad Dao and laws began to wail in lamentation. They were forced to the ground and couldn't move. Bang! The sword slashed forward with a might capable of flattening the world. Even someone like Old Devil quivered before its strength. Boom. The sword finally shattered the temporal Tao. A beautiful five-color radiance began to disperse from the pathway in a majestic and magnificent manner. Clank. The corpse unleashed another slash straight at Magu. It was swift to the point where Old Devil couldn't see its trajectory at all. Right when it was about to cut into her body, it suddenly stopped along with all noises in the world. Those who were capable of seeing this were gasping in astonishment. This slash was too terrorizing and definitely capable of slaying all deities in this world. However, the serenity became endless along with everything else. It all happened in a split second, but this split second was extended to the span of millions of years. During this moment, boundless temporal forces suddenly rushed out in a ferocious manner. Migu also disappeared. If the temporal pathway earlier was a gurgling stream, then the current temporal Tao was a flood that engulfed the world, a flood capable of destroying everything. With one million years as the unit, time kept on pouring down in the form of a brilliance that bathed the imperial corpse. In fact, Magu did not disappear for she was standing there the whole time. The spatial location might be the same. But the temporal sphere was different. She was millions of years away. This made the imperial sword completely ineffective against her. Ah! The corpse devoid of life unexpectedly screamed while being bathed by the great temporal light. At this time, people saw a magical scene. The ray that contained millions of years pierced the corpse. It immediately dispersed into countless particles that were swept away by the river of time. No. The remaining generals of the space trample mountain screamed and couldn't accept this outcome. Boom, boom, boom. After the corpse was disintegrated into particles by time, all of the power it devoured returned to where they came. Refined Yang Fire and Yin Fire Essence along with the Radiance of the Stars all came back to the cosmos where they belonged. The mortal Emperor world regained its light. The sun was still hanging above the vault of the heavens and the moon was still hiding deep in the blue recesses of space. Of course, the stars flickered far on the horizon. After seeing that the world was still here and the celestials were still bright, people felt like survivors of a grave disaster. The world turned silent right away. Both the Grand Middle Territory and even the entire mortal Emperor world was drowned in silence. One could hear the drop of needle anywhere in this realm. It seemed that even living beings didn't dare to breathe. They all looked up at the sky to stare at Magu. The most ordinary woman became the world's most beautiful scene. Anyone would tremble inside. From start to finish, Magu didn't even attack. She simply released a temporal Tao pathway and it destroyed an imperial corpse. Both god kings and reclusive undyings wouldn't be enough against such a powerful existence. At this time, they were all looking up at her. An old undying from the previous generation murmured to himself while trembling. An emperor assailant truly exists in the present. For millions of years, not many emperor assailants had appeared. After all, some of them did not have a good end because it wasn't a good thing to oppose emperors. Thus, they were a legend of sorts. Not many had seen these assailants until today, when they stood witness to their level of power. Old Devil was somewhat dazed and murmured to himself, Who can surpass this flawless immortal physique that allows her to do as she pleases? Such words woke up a lot of people, especially the powerful ones who understood the implications. Think about it, an emperor assailant was Li Kai's Dao protector, 
Who in this world would dare to compete for the heaven's will against him anymore? Who would want to cross this unstoppable woman? As fiercest, no one in the younger generation could defeat him. Nevertheless, a few ancient existences still felt that this didn't mean that he himself was unbeatable. The space trample mountain had his thought, and the same went for the soaring immortal sect. This belief ignited the battle today. The young was no match for Li Qi, so the old wanted to join together to kill him. From then on, there would be a new forerunner for the heaven's will. But now, an emperor assailant has appeared. Moreover, she was clearly on the side of fiercest. Li Kai will surely become the immortal emperor of this generation. Even god kings who had ideas about killing Li Kai were deterred and could only remove this thought. They had to tuck their tails obediently in order to stay alive. Today, it didn't matter how strong Li Kai himself was. Those who dared to stop him would have to deal with those on his side first. Megu, the Middle Continent Princess, South Emperor, and even characters like Mishodi, this group was already unstoppable.